Transport ready to load. Lions tram to front gate secure. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Will Tippin. David McNeil. Thank you for uh, meeting with me. Do you mind if I... Uh... No, that's all right. Great. So, in the letter you sent, you weren't real specific. You, you doing an article on encryption software? Yeah, um... No, not really. I mean, I think that's an interesting topic, and uh, I mean, it's timely, and, you know, we can't do that. So why are we sitting here? I'm researching something. It's called SD6. I don't have anything to say about that. Why don't you, why don't, why don't you just tell me what you know? I mean, just... What, I don't know. know anything. Why don't you just tell me what you suspect? I don't suspect anything. I met with Robert Stoller. He told me about your wife. Listen to me. You stay away from him. You understand? Don't talk to him again. Surprised you wanted to meet with me, especially so soon. Look, I spent eight years in this place, living in fear of what these people might do to my daughter, to Kelly. So, you know, you come in here and you start asking me questions about SD6. I, I just wasn't prepared. I understand. But Kelly came to me. She told me she met you about her conversation with Robert, about her going away. I, I can't spend another eight years like this. I need to talk. Is Kelly safe? Because I'm not going to do the story otherwise. Yeah, I'm a father. Neither would I. Yeah. She's been sent away. She's out of the country. Cost me nearly everything I have left, but... Uh, but she's safe. Okay, so who are they? I mean, what do they do? What the hell is SD6? All right, I'm going to tell you what I know. But first, there's something you have to do. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Will Tippin. I'm here to interview Mr. Glazer. You have to contact a company called OT Technologies and tell them you want to interview their CEO. His name is Larry Glasser. Why would I want to interview Mr. Glasser? You don't. But you got to get into the building. See, I used to work there. And before my trial, I did something illegal, but really smart. See, I knew there were people that wanted to use my encryption software and that someone was gonna use it for no good. So I wrote a subroutine in the program that would send a tag to a dedicated server. Mr. I, I don't really know the technical jargon. You're gonna It's have like to... a digital guest book. Right? Anybody that uses the program would unknowingly sign in. You see, I wanted to make sure there was a trail in case I ever wanted to pursue the people that were setting me up. So there's a list of people that use your program. Right, and it should be on a server in the computer room at OT Tech. Once you get into the building, you're gonna tell them that you wanna use the restroom. Excuse me, can you tell me where the restroom is, please? Three doors past the bathroom on the first floor is the door to the computer room. The passcode is 4747. Once you're in, you're going to log on to the system. I'll give you all the access codes and you're gonna search for a file called Dolphin. Download it. That's the one. That's our roadmap. That's gonna lead us to SD6. Lompoc Prison about two hours ago. The man talking to Tippin is David McNeil, software designer. About eight years ago, he created an encryption system that we wanted to acquire, but he wouldn't sell. We don't have audio, but we got hold of the prison log. This is Tippin's third visit to McNeil in the last two weeks. Have you heard from her, your daughter? No. No, my lawyer says she's safe. That's all I really want to know. All right, so what do you got? Okay. Based on the file at OT Technologies, 42 companies currently use your encryption software. 42? Yeah. So far, I've had time to look into about 18 of these companies. Listen to this. Six of them have a common board member, a guy by the name of Alan Kristoff. This is the best part. Twelve years ago, 
Alain decides to retire from the CIA. And before that, from 82 to 89, he ran counterintelligence at Langley. Why are you smiling? Because for the first time in eight years, SD6 should be afraid of me. Hey. Hi. So I talked to Stoller. He's gonna check on those companies. What happened to your face? We have to talk. When I first came here and I asked you about SD6, you told me not to pursue it. You said it was too dangerous. David, I think you were right. So why are you saying this to me now? Did you talk to Christoph? What did he say? No, I didn't talk so to Christoph. So what the hell's going on? I was kidnapped. Yesterday. I, I don't know who they were, but... I'm assuming they were for SD6. David, they threatened me. They told me to drop the story. And what makes you think if you do, they're not going to kill you anyway? Now, what choice do I have? You see it through. Understand this. The only way you can truly be safe is to publish this story. Expose them in print. That's your life insurance policy. Come on, Will, we're close. You just give it a week, a week. And we'll have something for you to write about one more week. And they can't touch you. for letting you down, okay? But right now, I'm you. I'm exactly where you were before your wife was killed. Now, if I do what you suggest, David, they're gonna kill my family, my friends. Now, if you could go back, if you could change it, you wouldn't hesitate, would you? I'm sorry. <laughs> 